Many roads in Mariposa County are shut down this morning due to heavy flooding. And while some of the water has receded, really, residents are left to deal with the damage. Action News reporter Christina Davies joins us live in Mariposa County with more on the latest from this flooding. Christina. Amanda, Tony, so where I'm standing right now, this is where uh, the water level from this creek rose. As you can see, like we do have debris all the way up here. Now, this has since gone down. We're going to take a closer look, but look at this off to the side. We do have the plants here. You can see the way the water was rushing and how fast it's going. And this morning, the water is still rushing pretty fast. It has since gone down, but uh, they, the people who live in this area know that this is this area is subject to flooding. There's cones put up, so the water is still rushing fast this morning. It doesn't look like there's too much damage to the road from what I can see, but again, this is just one of many areas that saw flooding in Mariposa. Now, Caltrans said that they had to close nearly 20 miles of road extending from Merced County to Mariposa County because of the flooding and the Mariposa County Sheriff's Office activated their emergency operations center prior to the storm because they were expecting to get several inches of rain and they closed they closed many roads, including Highway 40, 140 as well as 49. And Mariposa County Supervisor Kevin Can says after last year's wildfire, the wildfires, the infrastructure was nowhere near prepared for this storm. We have a lot of damaged areas that FEMA has approved months and months and months ago, but haven't given the money to fix them. But when you get heavy rain, it's one, two inches an hour. Uh, it'll tear that stuff out. Mariposa County also wants to remind people to drive cautious this morning as they are still assessing the damage from flooding yesterday. And we're also told that uh, Mariposa County, they were searching for a woman they believed went missing in a different area. Uh, they found her vehicle past a road closure in an area that was flooded. So last check, they, we do not that last check. We know that they had not found the woman. They gave us very limited details about this woman. But again, um, if you uh, are driving this morning and you see any damage, you are asked to call the Mariposa County Public Works to tell them about it. And again, they do not want people driving uh, on these roads. And we also know that uh, Mariposa County, their schools, uh, while the kids were not scheduled to be in school, some of the staff were. So they're asking the staff to stay home if they do not feel comfortable driving on those roads. 